Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. My dear community members, assalamu alaikum. I make this address to you all today with a very heavy heart. That is because I would like to speak to you about Al Hajj Mustafa Jafar, Mustafa GR Jafar, and the legacy he left behind. Mustafa Uncle's record for community service and leadership needs no explanation. He lived a life of purpose. He soared to incredible heights. He swept so many with his vision and his hope. He was a great man of Sijni, and he was a great man for the Khoja world. Today, not only Sijni grieves for him, but the entire Khoja world grieves for him. However, we find hope in his legacy, as does the Khoja world. My community members, Mustafa uncle not only led a long life, but he lived a meaningful life. He belonged to a generation that made their mark of service to their community in Zanzibar, followed by migration to Tanzania and eventually a final migration to USA. All along, he served the Khoja Shia Ishnashu Jamaat in Zanzibar under various subcommittees. He was instrumental in assisting Khoja families to migrate from Zanzibar to Dar es Salaam in the 1964 and 65 era. His efforts helped our community enormously, especially during the time of the infamous forced marriages in Zanzibar. Mustafa uncle also served as a treasurer of Milad nabi Association and was the government spokesman for welfare programs after the Zanzibar revolution until 1974. He migrated to the USA in October 1976 and served as the New York Jamaat president for more than 10 years. During his tenure, he was instrumental in raising funds for building the Al Husseini Madrasa Center in Queens. He was also the trustee of the Muslim Foundation in USA and was nominated by the, by the Marja at the time to serve as a trustee of the New York Al Khui Foundation. On a global perspective, he served for many years as an executive counselor for Nasimco and the World Federation. He worked very closely with Marhum Mullah Azgar and traveled with Mullah Saab to many parts of UK, Canada, Africa, India, and Pakistan for social, religious, and welfare services of our communities. Today, numerous communities in North America owe a great deal of gratitude for his support and guidance as more and more members started settling in the USA and needed Shia centers and other communal facilities. A historical and important factor that often gets overlooked is that there are many unacknowledged and unsung personalities today whose devotion and sacrifice in the late 60s and 70s have resulted in the present generation enjoying the facilities and services. Al-Hajj Mustafa Bay Jafar was amongst the leading personalities of that era in North America, whose contributions remained forever etched in the annals of history of our community. On a personal note, if I were giving the speech at our center today, I would always look to my left and see him sitting there, listening attentively. Every time I would go to greet him, he would never stop short of showering me with his duas for blessing of our beloved Imams to give me strength and keep me going on the right path and has served this community. Today, Sijni and the global Khoja world has truly lost a great one. However, the memories he has left behind will allow us all to emulate the qualities of a great leader and philanthropist. May Mustafa uncle rest in peace with the chosen ones, Amin. And I would like you to please recite a Surah Fatiha for the Marhum and say a prayer for his family to be granted the patience to bear this great loss. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.